I'm James Pasley, the CTO for Cape Clear Software, and over the next few minutes I would like to demonstrate to you just how quickly you can get started using the Cape Clear Studio development environment. In preparation for this demonstration, I've started a Cape Clear server, and as you can see, I've just launched the studio. The first thing that you see is the welcome page, and this is a great starting point for new users. The overview section contains some background reading on the Cape Clear Enterprise Service Bus and the development tools themselves. The first step section gives you some guidance on which tutorials to start with based on whether your interests lie with Java web service development, people orchestration or the enterprise service bus itself. I'm going to start with one of these tutorials now. The first task you need to complete when you launch the development environment is to enter the configuration details of the server that you're going to deploy and test your web services on. I'm going to do this by following the instructions in the Define a Cape Clear Server tutorial or cheat sheet as they are often referred to. These tutorials provide step-by-step -step instructions to help you complete common tasks. I can connect to the Cape Clear server using a new server wizard. I launch this simply by clicking on a link in the cheat sheet itself. The cheat sheet then attaches itself to the wizard so that I can continue to use it as I progress through the panels in the wizard. First I select the type of server that I want to connect to. Then I confirm the installation directory for the server and finally the connection details. When I am happy with the details I click finish and the new server appears in the servers view at the bottom of the development environment. So now let's return to the welcome page to see what else I can do. There are other tutorials here that will guide you through the creation of your first project, writing some code, deploying and testing the web service you create. These are Hello World style tutorials for both Java and Beeple. In addition to these step-by-step -step tutorials, there are quite a number of sample projects where you can simply import the projects, deploy and test them. These are very useful sources of sample code. The Payment Gateway sample contains an example Java web service with a typical set of features. I'm going to install the loan application Beeple sample. Installing the sample is very easy. I just click on the link and the import wizard appears, letting me know the projects that are included in this sample. When I click finish, those projects are imported into the workspace. You can see the projects in the top left of the screen. There is also a help panel here with links into the online documentation, which explains the sample in detail. The loan approval process receives loan applications and requests a risk assessment for them. Based on this risk assessment and the amount requested, a decision is made. The loan may be granted automatically or the branch manager may need to be consulted before the application can be approved. You can see the alternative courses of action represented here within the Beeple itself. The case on the left results in automatic approval of the loan. Alternatively, the activities on the right are executed in order to consult the branch manager. I will now deploy these web services to the Cape Clear server. To do this, I simply right click on one of those projects and select Run on Server. On this first panel, the wizard asks me to confirm which server I want to deploy to. The second panel allows me to specify which of the projects I want to deploy. In this case, I want to deploy all three projects. When I click Finish, these are deployed to the Cape Clear server. As each of the web services is deployed, they appear in the web services browser panel within the development environment. To test the loan approval process, I right click on it and select test service. This opens up the web service tester, which automatically generates an appropriate request message for this service. I can modify the request message by entering a name and the amount that I wish to borrow. Now I can send it to the Bepel process that I just deployed and I can view the response message that comes back to see my loan application was automatically approved. I will now send a second request for a much larger amount. This time the branch manager is consulted. He considers it for a while before making his decision. I can view the response message and see that in this case my second loan application was also approved. Cape Clear's orchestration manager can be used to view the history of business transactions that have been executed in the Beeple engine. I will now log into it to view the history of my two loan applications. For the first loan application you can see that the request was received, 
the risk assessment was obtained and immediately afterwards the reply message was sent back to approve the loan. For the second loan application, following the risk assessment, the branch manager was consulted. When the notification came back from the branch manager, then the response was sent back to the client. So you can see that within a few minutes of completing the installation of the software, I've installed some web service projects, deployed them to the server, tested them and viewed their history. Thank you for listening to this demonstration. Please do download and evaluate the product. As you've seen here, there are many samples and tutorials that will get you productive immediately.